My name is Tim Ellis. Uh, I'm an artist. I live in Mossman, far north Queensland. Uh, this is my first exhibition at Northside. Um, it's been a couple of years in the making. I'm very glad to be here, um, showing off the paintings and the videos that I've been making, which are um, a, a, a nostalgic and affectionate look at the region that I've found myself living in. I'm from London. I come from a very different city, a very different place and 15 years ago I came to Australia living in the remote communities of the far north Queensland um, and started looking at buildings, people, characters, ways of life and how I responded to those things, uh, those things that I'm seeing um, because they're very different from what I'm used to in European style, in the, the Queensland style and the Queensland lifestyle um, is something that I've come very, become very fond of and it's what I really wanted to depict. Um, Travelling around these remote regions, I've taken a lot of photographs and spent time immersed in looking at the, the ages of buildings, the patterns of buildings, the way that streets are, um, some are old shops, some are new shops, they become quite timeless the designs and the style, the fashions on the street, they kind of blend and merge into, you know, you don't know whether you're in the 80s, the 90s, the 20s, some of these towns, they're, they're, they seem timeless. And that's one of the things I wanted to convey. When I was looking at people, I really wanted people that are gonna fit into the scenario of the picture that I'm painting, the scene. So there's usually three elements. There's the, the setting, which is the building or the scene. There's the people who are adding character to that setting. And then there's the stories. What are these people doing in the painting? So those are the three elements. So when I'm looking at the characters that I want to portray, they, are, they stand out as being unique, interesting, slightly sometimes eccentric characters. The idea of using a story in my work comes from my background in the film and television industry. I spent a lot, a lot of my earlier career as an art director, so I was making sets um, and dressing sets and creating environments for telling stories. In. So I, I look at things with a very filmic eye. It's almost like these are stills from a, a movie, so it could be a narrative that's progressing and I've just captured a moment of that time. Um, one of the main things that I try and bring out in my work is the light and the colour. Colour is something I love, um, I love the variety of colour, but colour doesn't read unless you hit it with a lot of light. And that's what I've done in a lot of the paintings, is used lighting, shadows and highlights to really um, either pinpoint areas on a canvas or to accentuate the story. Um, the way I achieve that with the paintings is I quite often start, I work with a lot of layers of paint, so I often start the canvas with a very dark background. So I will obviously usually paint dark blues, dark greens or dark browns as base coats and then start putting lighter colours on top and building up to the lightest colours. And that really makes the paintings pop out um, and sing. A lot of my previous work I've actually used a lot of text um, as a graphic way of um, using other images, other forms, and I find that lettering is a very beautiful um, medium. So I, painting shop fronts and street signs, I love the idea of calligraphy and fonts and colour, but then I like ageing them. But I really like the bold, strong play between um, a building, a human, and a letter form. So a lot of my work has those, um, those calligraphy elements in it too. I'm really fascinated by time and time-based imagery. So I, I wanted to be able to put some moving elements into my paintings. And the way I found that I could do that was by using still photographs in videos and then putting layers of animation on top of them. So for example, I've superimposed the two men in the car um, and I've superimposed the, the, uh, the rainbow and the rain effect on top of a still. So I'm getting a, a, a video loop that's like a live painting. 